I'm Roxiano, and I'm going to compare Tyranno Builder with Visual Novel Maker. Let's get to it. I got the idea to do this video next from a comment in another video. If you want me to expand on a feature or make a video dedicated to something different or something else, please make a suggestion. I will definitely listen to it. Also, I listen to the people in my Discord chat. I love you guys. I know you're watching. Uh, thank you and I appreciate you being there and talking with me and helping me out with stuff. If you want to join my Discord, the link is in the description of the video. So in Hotel Tutwin, we have our scene layout. And on the left, we have our scenes here with tabs we have our assets for our backgrounds and images music characters and all that and we have our drag and drop commands which we use to actually build the project and if we go over here to kiss upload visual novel maker we have a similar layout except in this one you can see a preview the whole thing is a lot more customizable via dragging in Visual Novel Maker. Um, anything basically can be customized in here. It's a lot easier to get started with Tyranno Builder. When you start out in Visual Novel Maker, you don't want to start from scratch. It can be too complicated. There is a pretty big learning curve of Visual Novel Maker. In Tyranno Builder, we can simply right click and say preview from here. It will bring up an easy preview for you. You might notice right off the bat that all my scenes are very confusing. <laughs> it's because when I was starting out, I named them as what was happening because I thought it would be easier to remember them by that. But I don't know which leads to what and it's just a bunch of scenes compiled in this huge mess of scenes I don't know how I managed. In Visual Novel Maker, everything is a lot simpler. There are chapters ni nicely put in here and with scenes that can be in each chapter. So now I know what I'm doing and which scenes I need to edit and it'll be easier to get to the scenes I need to edit. In Tyranno Builder, it's kind of like that with the assets too. Folders, you can't move them around like you can in Visual Novel Maker or else you'll have to redirect all your commands to choose the right folder. You would have to delete them and then choose them again in a different folder. That's not very convenient if you already have them in com commands. Organization would kind of be an issue then. In Visual Novel Maker, all of the visual assets, the characters, the backgrounds, and pictures are all in different folders within other folders. And you can move them around, the game will know what to look for. As long as you don't change the file name, you'll always be able to automatically make the game find whatever is in here. And that's a lot easier than in Tyranno Builder. Audio is one of the most important features of a game. In Tyranno Builder, we have these commands here. Play music, stop music, play sound effect, stop sound effect, and play video. And you can use these as commands to play music and adjust the volume and the fade in duration. Also, if you want it on loop. This would be the volume for the game. Unfortunately, there is no feature to let the player adjust the volume themselves of the music um, or the sound effects. Unfortunately, that is not a built-in option in Tyranno Builder. However, it is in VN Maker. VN Maker has a default settings menu, which looks like this, but you can customize it to be however you want it to look as long as you adjust these commands in this scene. This is the settings menu scene and it has many functions, all of which are customizable to an extent and pretty understandable as long as you do your research and study up on what each of these things do. 
here we have the text speed adjust and the music sound and voices. You can also remove any of these features if you don't have, for example, the voices. The play music commands in VN Maker would look like this. Um, you can even set separate settings for the audio if you want to apply it to all the audio. You can play sounds or music. Sounds are like the sound effects. You can play and stop those. And for the music, you can pause and resume additionally. You can choose the song that you have that you have uploaded in here. Uh, the volume and the rate. The rate is an extra thing, which is how fast and how slow it goes. And it's like, you can even test it in here and it's awesome to be able to do that. You won't be able to change the speed of any of the music in Tyranno Builder, unfortunately, but that's just a really cool thing you can do. In Tyranno Builder, these are where you'll type in what the characters will say. Next to a pound sign, you'll write the character's name so that it'll be in a different format near the top of the message box. In Visual Novel Maker, the messages are like this. You can type the message here that you want to show up and choose the character that's saying it so they'll show up right above the message. You can also, if you have a pre-recorded voiceover, you can select that and then choose a file that you have recorded a voice with and you can change their expression right on there as well. In Tyranno Builder, it's two different commands for the text and for the character expressions. So you'll have to do those separately if you want them to change expressions to say something different. Now, speaking of expressions, expressions are a little bit more complicated to add for characters. Because in all of your assets where you have the characters and all their expressions that you want, um, that's not enough when you want them to change the expression. The, this doesn't lead to that folder. It would have to be registered as a record under character expressions. So you, again, you would have another folder, but you would have these in the form of records where you can add images from your asset folder that you have added previously to the expression. If you have a bunch of frames of a character that you want to move around, you can have a moving expression, like if you want them to breathe and move around. Whereas in Tyranno Builder, all you can have in terms of the expressions are static images. Though it is a lot simpler to reach them because they are just connected to your simple character emoticons. Menus. When it comes to menus, there are a lot of differences in here. In Tyranno Builder, the menus are up here. And you can go to Edit Save Screen, and you can choose the background, the, t the title button, and the back button. And you can choose what size they are. You won't be working with these commands like you are in the rest of the game. They're just a simple interface that you can set up if you just want to set it up simple. And that is the only option <laughs> you have to. <laughs> so this would be the title screen in Hotel Tutwin with new game and load game. It's pretty simple. It basically leads you right into the game and it's made up of all of these commands. Some of these are system commands that the title, original title screens came with, and it is set up for you, but you basically know all the commands that are here and what they do. In Visual Novel Maker, the save menu and the title screen are all scenes in a chapter with various things set up if you use the, if you start with the sample, they have this all set up for you to have like different pages and you know a certain amount of slots that you can move around depending on what you want your menu to look like for the title screen there are some th variables in here that you don't know what they are for example in the save menu this it looks a little different um i assume it's from like a website or something that imports the mechanics 
driving the command. The way that the variables work here is you can set the condition with if variable is in value. Um, you can have a number which is like a regular number for points systems or a switch which can be turned on or off um, and a text. You can also check the switch or a number or text to make something specific happen or to trigger a specific scene. There are variables that I use for my characters in common events where I can add the variables and I can show it on the screen when it comes in. And these variables I set up to affect the game. Over here for our system variables, we have just this command, process variable. So in this process variable command, you can choose the variable that you would like to assign by starting to type the name of it. Again, it's up here in project variables, so you can check that over here and then start typing the name if you forget. So you'll be able to assign a value to it, add, subtract, do a lot of math stuff with it, and apply it down here. To check the variables and affect the story with the variables, you can affect it in the jump commands. So if a variable is true, it'll jump to where you want it to jump to based on how many points a character has or something like that. So I would set it up something like this, where it is a certain value or variable and you can type in what you think the value should be to jump to a certain place and you can have it be equal to greater than less than or I'm not sure exactly what that is don't tell my math teacher <laughs> In Tyranno Builder, there's this thing called image buttons, and that is how I was able to create my custom choices. I had these image buttons that I created um, that can go to a single target, to a target label that you want it to go to. All the choices for Tyranno Builder for Hotel Tutwin, I had to make as individual image buttons. These are all the ones that I made for the game. All the choices in the game. And if you wanted to add them as an image button, you would drag out the image button and browse for the file. I used that to create this scene, which I'm gonna show right now, where you can click any of these parts on here and it turns into dialogue. So I could have done that with a clickable area, but I wanted this nice red box around these here just to make them look pretty. Even though there's no image button option in VN Maker, you can still have like a kind of an image button by having an image and using the image command first. And then after you do that, you can do show image map. So basically, when you have an image map, you can place the hotspots wherever you want the player to be able to click. What this is, is a pre-made menu that I just have an image of, and then I plop the image maps over top of them. So there's clickable areas in Visual Novel Maker as opposed to actual image buttons that you can have in Tyranno Builder. Tyranno Builder has clickable areas which are like the image maps. Only Visual Novel Maker will have the hover effects. Meaning if I were to start at the title screen, which is where you start, you can have the image map direct the hover ability to a different image where all of these are yellow and the base one where they're white. And so automatically when you hover over it, it will turn yellow. Which is pretty cool and something you can't do with Tyranno Builder. So Tyranno Builder uses a scripting language called TyrannoScript. 
and it's its own scripting language um, and it's not customizable. This software is meant to be an easy UI interface for those who don't know how to or don't want to code their games. Visual Novel Maker, you can say is the same way, but if you wanted, you would always have access to the coding. The language it uses by default are JavaScript or CoffeeScript, but you can always change those. There are a lot of options that you can go through without having to code. And there's a lot more that you can do with your game than in Tyranno Builder. One thing that I discovered in Visual Novel Maker that since I have it, I won't be able to live without is this tint command. It makes the character look like it actually fits in with the background and that it is so useful. You click on this and you can choose how bright it is and what which color is more powerful than the other one. It is great for setting a tone and atmosphere, not just characters, you can do it with backgrounds and images. Anything you basically place into your project, you can tint and that is like amazing. You can change the layers of your characters in Visual Novel Maker and of pictures as well if you have more than one and you want them to overlap the right way. Um, it's called Z order. So you can adjust the variable there. Higher numbers go in front, lower numbers go in back. You aren't able to adjust the layers in Tyranno Builder, however, the first one you put in will always be behind the other ones you have. So as far as plugins go, Tyranno Builder has a designated place for them. They will appear in your commands. I have these two plugins, the open website and the share on Twitter, to direct people to certain places, fields that you can edit, which is really cool. You get to plugins by going to uh, project plugins. You can add new here for, that you can download maybe or you can open the plugin library. These are all of the official plugins. These are the only ones that are in English. If you want to see more of the official plugins, most of them are unfortunately in Japanese. So if you can't speak Japanese, it would be kind of hard for you to use the plugins. Visual Novel Maker has a lot of forums online that you can just download and install and with instructions and all that. I haven't tried to install any plugins for Visual Novel Maker yet, but it is something that I might check out in the future. From this video, we might be able to conclude that Tyranno Builder is more meant for beginners, whereas Visual Novel Maker is a little bit more complicated. However, neither of the softwares make you deal with the coding or the script. Tyranno Builder is pretty simple and to the point. Visual Novel Maker is a little more complicated, but there's a lot more you can do with your game to customize it the way you want it. There are a lot of different features that you can add in Visual Novel Maker that I will be using in Kiss Upload. So it's definitely an improvement switching over to the new software that I'm using now. To be honest, I'm happy that I started out that way with Tyranno Builder. It kind of helped me get motivated to learn the better software and fix everything that I needed to have fixed with my games. Thank you for watching and good luck making your visual novel. I look forward to seeing it. Let me know if you ended up using these softwares or if I've been helpful and signing off.